This is the Samsung Galaxy XR, and this is Samsung's first entry into the XR market. And we're gonna go do a walk through this device, see how the software is different from something like the Vision, Vision Pro and what it brings to the table. So let's start off with the hardware quickly and we'll take a closer look. Now, first thing you look at is of course the front of the, the, the device. Reminds you of the Vision Pro. Of course, it's got multiple cameras in front, which is nice. Um, and it also has a very nice weight to it. Doesn't feel super heavy in any regard. And the build quality is solid, though not the highest premium materials because they've gone for comfort in terms of just premium finish. So you've got kind of like a plastic build around with some, some metal or some full metal, if you will, but it feels really nice. I think it's still a really solidly built device. Now, when we look around the front of the device, we do have a button on the right, which is kind of like your, I guess you call it a power button, but also this is your uh, Gemini button and that's gonna come in handy. And you've got a volume rocker on the other side. Now, looking at the headband itself, it's a one singular design and it's got an adjustable strap, which honestly, this thing is golden because the way the weight distribution lands is that it's basically here and here and you've got support at the very bottom. So it's around your head, it feels really comfortable. It's kind of like you wearing a baseball hat. That's the best way I would describe it. And it's comfortable just like a baseball hat, right? You've got, of course, adjustments in here, so you can actually change the different forehead cushions, if you will. And at the bottom then, you also have like a full enclosure for um, your like fully immersive VR environment. Now, when it comes to speakers, the built-in speakers on either side, very directional to your ear and have very little leak. And then on the right-hand side here, you have this tap button, which is for like reorientation, different gestures. Now, this of course works just like the Vision Pro where it has eye tracking and hand tracking, which you can navigate through. Now, the power connector is right here. It's a proprietary power connector that connects to the power brick. Now, this is your power brick, very similar. It does have a, a cable that is basically USB on one end right here and then the proprietary plug on the other end. Now, this is something that's very simple. All you have to do is go ahead and slide it in. It snaps into place like so. Very simple. Now, you have this connected and this is where we're gonna go ahead and put on the headset. I'll just show you what it looks like in a sec. And already it's turned on and voila. Good to go. Okay, so I have my Vision Pro on and you can see the camera in front of me, but let's go ahead and see what the interface looks like. So flip your hand over, you can see right there, that is a button that basically gives you access to your full interface. Clearly we have our app tray, if you will, and your welcome screen. You have basically all your apps right in front of you. In the very top, you have Home, you have Google, basically Google Search, Gemini, you have that which is recently used apps <laughs> i don't know why i didn't think it was that and then you've got your notifications and then you've got your settings or you can see your quick access menu this is where you can see things like your wi-fi your bluetooth and then of course everything in your notification center where you want to quickly access and also the brightness of the display now you can navigate through and i'm screen recording this right now and you can go to power there's of course settings right below and then of course there's your images here as well now let's go back. So what you can see here is that the interface is very similar to uh, that of uh, the Vision Pro in a sense, but also is very full Android. It feels very Android in terms of its look and feel. I've got Wi-Fi 6E connectivity, says the time and the date at the very top. Now I can slide through and navigate and you're noticing that my navigation, I'm using I, I'm not actually moving my hands in any way. I can actually just kind of look at different things, Bixby, Maps, Google, Clock, and then I can tap and go into Clock. So there's eye tracking and there's hand tracking as well. But of course, if you wanna go back, it's simply there. Now, as you navigate through, you can see you have different applications. Uh, you can see more applications here. And then I even have games, I have Geekbench, and I have TikTok. Now, I'm not gonna do benchmarks. I just wanted to show you that you can download any application you want to. Um, in that sense, but I'm going to open up TikTok first and that's an application. I'm going to open that and set it aside. So, okay, MJ 
First time he's picked up a ball in years. Nah, I don't believe that. But this is what TikTok actually looks like. It doesn't have the traditional candy bar shape. As you can see, those two icons there, or those two dots basically pointing out where my two hands are pointing. But I can go ahead and say, grab the edge of TikTok and move TikTok to the side. So I'm just gonna put TikTok here. And we can see Jordan, we can play that. And then we can also swipe up. Ooh, yeah, she makes some really cool content. So you can see I'm getting a notification from TikTok. TikTok is right there. And this is their alarm that I had earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap, close that alarm. So TikTok is there, which is cool. So that can be playing on the side. Go ahead and open up another app. Now again, as you can see, I have full access to Android. And this is the Play Store. So in the Play Store here, I have games I can access. I can, you can see Call of Duty is available. I can go ahead and play that. PUBG is available. I can search for apps. I can look at all the different apps I have here. And then if we kind of just go to, to search, we have different apps that we can search for. And then the keyboard comes up. So we have the keyboard layout in front of us here and we can download something. So let's go ahead and look for uh, Destiny. So. So if something doesn't pop up like that, you can quickly switch to finger search and then Destiny Mobile is here. So let's just install that while we're, we're doing this and let's open up something else. Good example is Google Maps. This is where you see something a bit more robust. You can jump in, you can go into immersive view, stay light, save, and again, because I have got some lights affecting the view, you can also go into immersive view here. So immersive view kind of takes you into uh, more of like a VR world. Okay, so we are in Google Maps and you can see we're on the planet. We can move around. We can get to Winnipeg. I don't want to, I want to go to city. Let's see if we can find New York City. That's Florida, Virginia. There is New York. And then let's jump into New York. Interesting. It's, uh... oh, there it is. This is so cool. I've never enjoyed a map this much, but you get the idea. You can see how you can zoom in, look at different places. Oh, sorry. I know I live in Jersey, but let's go and check out Chelsea Market, right? Street View, no. Now they mentioned they had things that you can actually jump in and look inside the building. So like Pier 57, I believe. Uh, this is still street for you so i guess that's not populated yet or it's not built in but this is new york city um you can see that's jersey over there that's where i live and you definitely get the idea so let's go ahead and pop out of this so with that that's that was still playing in the first place you have google maps here which is cool now one thing that i do want to talk about is uh, Gemini. Gemini is really simple to use. You basically press and hold this button and that brings up Gemini and it's easy to navigate through. Now, Gemini, quick question for you. What is the best time to drink water? Drinking water throughout the day is key, but sometimes are better than others. Starting your day with water helps wake up. Now, a quick, now, thank you very much. A quick question about the device I'm using. What device is this? Okay, so you're using an Android XR headset. Is there anything specific you'd like to know about it? I heard I can do circuits of search. How do I do that? All right, one second, please. To use circle to search, you need to catch and hold with your palm facing towards you until you see the Google icon. Then release and circle anything you want to search. You. Ah, okay, thank you. All right, so how do we do circle to search, which is another cool feature of Gemini. You basically flip and hold, as Gemini says, until Google icon shows up and then okay I guess it's the first time I 
There you go. So that's a search, makes sense. Okay, so that is actually pretty cool. Now, another thing to mention is of course gaming. You can actually game on this device as long as your game supports a controller. So a lot of Android games do and things like Game Pass, but I'm gonna to go to Genshin Impact. I'm gonna select that and then I'm gonna pick up my controller. You can use an Xbox controller if you, if you don't have um, one of the uh, XR controllers that Samsung makes, but you can easily connect this and play. So let's go ahead and play some Genshin on here and see how that actually looks. All right, so now we are playing Genshin Impact, and as you can see, I can clearly navigate with controller and play on as big as a screen as possible. So I'm gonna move it to this side here, and then I'm going to just expand this as much as I want to, and boom, this is probably... Another test You're in for a little shock. Ooh. Oh man, all my guys are dead. Come a little Come closer. Don't be such a brute. You're in for a little shock. That tingle. There we go. That tingle. That tingle. Hip hop. Okay. What you got? That tingle? <laughs> You've been a naughty boy. So there you have it. That's of course Genshin Impact. Let's go ahead and close that up. All right, so that's closed. So you get the idea. You can game on this quite well. The one thing I'll say is that even though this is quite intuitive, I feel it's not as smooth as say the Vision Pro, just in terms of like some of the actions, if you will. What I mean by not by smooth, just a fraction. I think it just needs a little bit more fine tuning, but it looks pretty good. I love the fact I can navigate around and you get the idea that you can actually move in. So one thing I wanted to show you, last thing of course is the multitask. I can close that. And then let's go ahead and open up the applications and let's go into settings. And you can see what the settings look like. You've got avatars, which you can set up, things like that. Software update. It's a very, it's a full Android uh, layout, but you get the idea of what it actually can do for you. And I think a lot of people like this. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So let me know what you think about the Galaxy XR. Do you like it? Do you like the interface, what it does? And this is a pretty lengthy video, but hopefully you enjoy this and always enjoy your entertainment.